Hey everyone, Uni here and welcome to today's video. Now it's the second episode of our gameplay with the LEC Criminal Belt. And uh, last episode we have finished the construction on Omega C. We also explored or surveyed um, OG Capers. I always will have a difficult time pronouncing his name. I think I've said that three times or four times and I'll, I will always say that it's a really tough name to pronounce it. Maybe it isn't. Maybe it's just uh, maybe I just have to, you know, adapt myself. Either way, uh, we're gonna start with a new tradition point. Um, either we select a new life, which will mean that the Pope growth speed is gonna be increased 10%, or we go with the star base influence influence coast. Definitely a new life, for sure. Yeah. All right. So let's unpause it. Fast forward. Let's see our ship, our science ship to look into this oh Ooh, this is interesting we have two planets in here and um, they're potential good planets for us as humans a tropical world and an ocean world right now they aren't but eventually eventually with the technology research we can get uh, more um, you know ab habitability points and uh, eventually these will become green planets so that's not bad and one of those planets is a 21 size which is good definitely good either way i'm not sure i'm gonna send my i'm, I'm not really sure what i'm gonna do now um yeah i'm sure what i'm gonna do i'm gonna build another science ship the main reason why I'm gonna build one is this is too slow. I need to research the entire area in here and try to find out what needs to be done. Um, not sure if I'm gonna construct anything in here. We only have a three research points. Uh, early on, it's not bad. You know, we have uh, 18, 18, which is not uh, not great. But should I spend? Um, energy credits on a, you know, on a star base here, so it could just harvest these technology uh, points, these physics research points. I'm not sure, so I'm not gonna do anything yet. I'm gonna leave that over there. Uh, eventually, we can look into it later on. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Okay, so we have. Uh, Research complete. Okay, that's good. So we have now more uh, research engineering from the researchers, which is good. It means that uh, I will have more points of research over there. Um, should we go with planets, build speed, or minerals from mines? Uh, well, definitely this one because look at this. It's a 500 research, it's 20%. So that's good. I'll get this in uh, no time. Construction complete. And uh, I'll be producing a lot more minerals, which will be good for us. Okay, so we already have built another science ship. We need to assign a leader, someone. Let's recruit a uh, scientist. Should we go with new worlds or biology? Mm, I would go with probably the new world. Jiro Nakamura. Or Paulina. Yeah, I'll go with the guy, with this guy. I'm not really sure if this has any influence in what we're going to do, but yeah, either way. Uh, so this ship is gonna go this way, or it should go. But let's, it's pause here. Let's stop what they're doing. I want them to keep surveying this. Then they will survey this, this, this this and this okay while this one will survey this this eventually this this and here and by the way here can can it okay okay i think that's that's it this way we can uh, start surveying more uh, places and make it faster. 
because otherwise it's gonna take a long time and we're not even sure what's gonna happen okay so what does it mean it's uh, the discovery of alien life the LEC sojourn sojourner has made which is quite a strange name this ship has made a startling find on Begol 3 so this place in here the planet is teeming with alien life. For the first time in history, we have encountered life forms that did not originate on Freeland. Okay, that's interesting. This amazing discovery has silenced those who believed we were alone in the universe. Although none of the alien creatures found an, on Bagel, Bagel Tree are sapiens, it is likely only a matter of time before we encounter beings that are. Okay, so we get more resource society, which means probably we're gonna get resource society really soon on the technology board. Yeah, two months, which is good. So, where is where is Bagol Tree? Okay, so this is uh, what is this? An ocean world. It's a 16%, 16 percent, 16, 60, not 16. I'm sorry, 60 percent uh, for humans, which is not bad. But definitely not the best one. Let's keep on researching everything. Can we do anything on, on the buildings? Oh yeah, we can build. Okay. Definitely one of the first things we, we should do either. Um, we're, we're one step closer of, of opening the next pop, right? Uh, let's just say that I only want to, in this planet, I only want to produce uh, humans, okay? So no other species, eventually in the future we may find other species, although we are, you know, we are um, xenophobe, so maybe that's not going to be much of a problem. Uh, Alright, so either way, we are almost growing up, so we are not that far away. And we definitely could start building an alloy foundry right now or build where is it where is it the what, what is it? it's not here I think I haven't researched it yet uh, isn't that a, where is the clinics research lab research resource silo stronghold I think maybe I haven't yet research, uh, researched it but we can definitely go, then we go with alloy foundries, okay, so we can produce more alloy. Plus, I think it also means we're going to be producing, um, no, it's just 6 alloys and 12 minerals, from 12 minerals, okay, let's produce this. Uh, I haven't seen how is, okay, we have 8 districts, that's good. And uh, we are almost having unemployment, so that's definitely going to help. Okay, contact report, simple forms of life. The LEC criminal belt is abuzz with news of the alien organisms discovered some time ago. While far from intelli intelligent, there is life out there, an inescapable, uh, inescapable uh, reality and deeply unsettling prospect. Okay, sure. Shorting, shorting. How what about this one? This is, a oh, this is good. We can definitely colonize this one. It's a, it's a continental world. It's a uh, 16, size 16, which is just two sizes smaller than the, the free land right now. And the system is uh, Zoldior. Let me look at how the system is. Okay, we have a class, class A star, which should be giving us three resources, three. Credits, energy credits, eventually. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. All right. Scientific breakthrough achieved. Okay, so we already have the monthly units. So let's see what we can do now. We could produce more food or increase the society research or even unlock the Starbase building of World Trading Company, which. We shouldn't really focus on it right now, so I'm, I'm definitely gonna go with the society research. Okay, habitable, habitable world survey. 
Okay, so basically we know now without a doubt that that a thriving biosphere is not something unique to Freeland. Both the scientific community and the public at large are eager to learn more about the various forms of alien life found truthful truth uh, truth the galaxy. Efforts to catalog the life forms we encounter are already underway, but our xenobiology biologists whatever, have urged us to focus our planetary survey efforts on habitable life-bearing worlds okay so either we get more influence so we have more important thing to focus on or we just go to it uh, yeah let's go to it log. Updated. So it means that we now have a new quest. We have to survive, uh, survey eight worlds that have life on it. So that's cool. Not sure how many we're gonna find, but sure. Anomaly found. Okay, so all right, good things, good things. First thing we have uh, one of our scientists, the one in the, in the one in this ship, if I'm not mistaken. He yeah, had a sojourner. Sojourner. I, I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. Really, I'm not really, really sure about it. Gain a level, so level two, that's cool. That's okay. And she also found an anomaly. Oh, it's unlocked. <laughs> so ship sensors are picking up an unexpl unexplained pattern of interface in Bagot's system. Sure, the research time is 100, which is good. It's not bad. Do research. We may lose a little bit of time here, but that's cool. And now we have another tradition point to use, which is, can only be used on Rich for the stars. So, star base influence cost is going to be reduced by 10%. It's kind of fun because we have no star base built yet. But I'm pretty much sure this is going to be the next one. We're definitely going to build this one. Can, can we already build it? No, we cannot. Can we move here? Sure. We're gonna build this because we have a planet and look at this. We have six minerals in here. Is it only in, in one place? Whoa, yeah. Only on this planet. Look at this. Uh, yeah. This would be a good planet maybe. No, I'm not sure. I was gonna say it would be because if we terraform this we definitely could get 50% more minerals from the jobs in here. But yeah, I don't know. We don't know. Let's unpause it. We definitely need to expand. We are too small and it's already been a few years or a few months, probably years. Okay, Freeland already has the first unemployed person and another building here. But well, we do not have anything we could build here. Um, definitely nothing yet. Okay, uh, what should we do here? Oh, it's quite interesting. In here it seems that everything is in the same level, but it isn't. <laughs> okay, Sonified Science. The LEC Sojourner, Sojourner crew has succeeded in isolating a signal embedded within the unusual pattern of interfer uh, interference in the bagel system. The signal is a song, a complex sonification of an advanced mathematical equation, to be precise, and one that science officer Sandra Mayer cannot seem to get out of their hat. All right. Who or what may have composed this song remains unknown. True, uh, uh, though its complexity infers uh, on an incredible level of technological technology technological uh, sorry guys technological sophistication regarding subspace uh, harmonics the signals uh, geo geodesics suggests a point of origin from outside of our galaxy all right so we gain we gain a few you know research points mm -hmm. Can we get more information about it? Maybe not. Okay, so I think this has to do with the uh, bagel information. Sure, whatever. I'm not gonna be reading it all. 
Maybe I should read it all. Wait, we have Tropical World at 70%. Well, that's good. I think we can definitely go with this planet and colonize it. All right, so Gov Governor Marcelo. Another level, okay, that's cool. Let's fast forward this a little bit. Complete. So, Freeland has finished the construction queue, which is good. But we still have another one. We now have two alloy foundries. We could definitely build... We could definitely build the science. Well, we don't have the resources, but we could definitely build the, the science. Uh, the science lab. But, I'm not really sure. Not really sure yet. Let's just unpause it and let's see what happens next, okay? Scientific breakthrough achieved. Okay, so we have unlocked the capacity overload and energy... Uh, overload, yeah, and energy grid. Now let's see what we can do here. We can go with research speed or uh, research from researchers. Uh, mm -mm -mm. What do you guys think? I think we're gonna go with this one. At least for now, we should have a little bit of a boost early on. It's not like technology is gonna be System too, survey too good or too high. Uh, we definitely need to colonize this one. It's a 90%, so that's cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this one is... This one is not... You see, the lack of resources is definitely bad. This this system, Bagel, only has a two energy credits uh, resources on the on the system. We do have two planets that we can colonize, luckily, but you know it's not the best way or the best approach. Still, I'm gonna start by building in here. I think that's the best place to start building it. Uh, I think it's a better system. You have more minerals, you have more credits, and you have a continental planet which is definitely better than the other one All right now that we have another trade addition should we go with uh, the courier network or the galactic ambition uh, honestly the way we are it doesn't matter so not yet although though system survey complete. okay this is good system is done let's build a star base outpost and let's uh, we could also start building uh, but maybe after after we build the star base we can definitely start building a colony ship and maybe uh, after we get another Scientific when after we we get achieved. the colony we should maybe start building up our fleet I'm pretty much sure that uh, we are going to be crushed if we don't do that eventually. Okay, a new research. Let's see what we can do. We can go with coil gun for our ships, uh, ceramic metal armor for our ships also, or the production targets addict and the mineral purification plants. You know. I think it would be faster for going to the mineral purification plants. Definitely, I think we could get something out of it. But I'm gonna go with the coil gun because I want to build uh, better ships. So let's first of all, let's look at the Corvette. Um, should we go with the interceptor missile boat or picket ship? Uh, I'm gonna go with the interceptor. I think that's good. Everything here is uh, yeah. Let's not use out of generated um, things in here. We can definitely go with the reactor. It will give us more power, but uh, we definitely need better, better content to place in here because everything in here is like okay, it's cool and all, but oh, let's auto upgrade. Should we call it Coyote? I prefer Garuda. I think Garuda looks better, so let's just delete this one. And the defense platform, uh, we can keep it right now the way it is, uh, auto upgrade. And let's change the name to Victoria. So Victoria seems better, right? I like this one. Okay, so this, this is it. 
or maybe maybe we could even do something wait we have the Corvette that is an interceptor but we can definitely build another one that is uh, the missile boat right sure do we have missiles yeah nuclear missiles and in here we could go with either uh, what the missile this one has a hundred percent shield and 25 percent hull damage hull damage or whatever this one will have armor damage shield um, I don't know maybe a mass driver could go could it go wrong I don't know now we could go with deflectors and I think that's it for now it doesn't matter if we have more power in here let's give it the toll war maybe toll war ultra warp great sure so we now have two kind of corvettes uh, one that has missiles the other one has only you know lasers and and uh, kinetic you know firepower power fire whatever it may want to upgrade it no I don't want that makes no sense uh, this one is building right yeah the star base let's survey its system let's see what we get scientific breakthrough achieved okay so we already have the 20% research uh, what should we go now pop growth speed I think that's the best option um, this one in here is not bad because uh, we could have a farm you know buildings that if, if, if we don't if we go into a planet that doesn't have that many farm fields we could definitely build something like that and we also could build the uh, on the you know star base we could build uh, I hydro, hydroponics bay that gives us a bit more food but I'll go with the pop growth I think that's the best option construction complete okay that is perfect so let's build the mining stations there's only two to build and uh, it's gonna give us a boost of resources hopefully and uh, now let's build a colony ship with humans of course and we're gonna colonize these new planet which is a bit smaller than uh, Freeland Freeland is an 18 that one is a 16 that's all good everything's good everything's fine Okay, so this one has nice credits, should be, oh, and has trade value, should be something to have in mind. Oh, this one has, oh yeah, this one has minerals, not a bad planet to, and plus, plus this one in here is not a bad point to do a base. Uh, definitely it's something I'm going to look forward in here, we could go build a base, and in, in this section, probably the best place to build a base is here, definitely. I don't know. I'm not very good when it comes to strategy, but I'll try my best. Complete. Okay, so construction complete in here, and uh, now we have to wait. Uh, either way, I think before waiting, we could build a star base here, and at least and at least get a. I you know. I know some people would say that this is a bad system survey complete. Um, I know that some people would say that this is a bad system because you would only break even in here if you build a, a you know a station at the current uh, at our current um, technology level. But yeah, I would definitely yeah I would definitely keep it uh, just for the planets. Okay, so this is a research anomaly. Impressive structures, liter, have, have a Gimar, the third. Have a Gimar, the third. Okay, here. Uh, practically begging for some archaeology work or something like that. But the research time is bad. It's it's tough for you. Uh, so you're you know it's a level three anomaly, and you're only level one. So yeah, leave it for now, and go focus on something else or somewhere else. Uh, okay, the system is already. Well, the system is really small, but it does have this barren. Oh, this is a barren world that we could definitely terraform later on. So system cool. survey complete. Okay, so let's pause it. Uh, so we have the Ute Empire. 
So we have discovered artifacts from an ancient alien civilization on the Rama, the Ranma, the the Ranma Fourth. Our scientists think they inhabit this region of stars roughly six million years ago, based on the age of the artifacts. The aliens call themselves the Yud, uh, should be Yud or Yud, I don't know, and appears to have been very large and flat uh, art arthropod analogies. Analogs. Well, sure. Cool. It seems a single individual could reach a length of nearly 100 meters as an adult, and it was apparently exceedingly rare for more than two or three youth to travel aboard the same starship. That's definitely interesting. So we get a minor artifact, and uh, we will begin the, uh, the precursor of the youth event, Shane. Situation log updated. Which should be interesting, I guess. So, yeah, this is the anomaly, the survey is done. We now can adopt another tradition. And um, right now I'm just thinking, should we go? Because there's there's two that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about. Either we go to supremacy, which right now at the moment may not make that much sense because we're not really looking for military uh, improvement. Uh, on the gameplay, or we could go by discovery. Although our civilization or our empire looks more for the, you know, the trait is mi militaristic um, situation, right? We, we do like that. Uh, it would be a good, tr I think that two good uh, traditions would be either supremacy or prosperity, and then discovery would go later. So I'm gonna go with Supremacy just because of the roleplay. I think that would be the best option by now. Uh, so I will have two more capacity for star bases, which is not much of a problem, but definitely more army damage, which I don't know if it's good yet because we're not gonna go that far. But then we have other uh, you know tr uh, traditions in here that could definitely reduce the build cost of a ship and the maintenance of the ship and upkeep and all that stuff. So yeah, let's go this way. All right, we are almost finishing the colony ship, and um, this one is not bad for the resources, but it's not very good for uh, energy. Oh, this one is a planet, continental world. Construction Ooh. complete. Definitely, we're gonna have to build this way. Uh, either way, before we go any any further, let's uh, colonize this planet. Let's see what name we're gonna go. Hasgard. Hasgard. Asgard or Asgard. Hmm. I like it. It's from it's from uh, Nordic mythology, if I'm not mistaken, right? Something like that. Okay, so we're gonna be colonizing our first planet, which is in the Zoldi Zoldior the second. Or in, in Zoldior system, I'm sorry. Which is a mining system, definitely, because you do have good minings in here. What about this one? Empire Homeworld, unclaimed system. Yeah, all of that is unclaimed. Not for long, not for long. Okay, can we build anything in here that makes any sense? So, government, we don't need any of these. Resources, energy grid, wouldn't be too bad. We don't really have that much energy left, but how much is the upkeep is one. How much is the upkeep in here is also one. It gives you two housing and two tech jobs. This one only gives you uh, a job. Uh, what about manufacturing? We can go with, uh, okay, uh, Unity, Amenities, the whole of theaters and luxuries, trade, commercial zones. Yeah, sure, research. Okay. Um, definitely not something we need at the moment. We don't need to focus. We don't need to worry much about it. We're gonna have a pop growth really soon, but not yet. Let's just unpause this. And um, I think we're gonna stop the video here today. Construction uh, complete. Let me just tell this guy to build. 
mining station, and then we're gonna try to should should we try to colonize the tropical world? Because it's a seventy percent right now, which is good for for it's 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 like the minimum value that you should have. But eventually, with technology, you're gonna get that value up, and humans will definitely love this tropical world. And it's a twenty-one size, which is not bad. It's definitely better than this one in 19 and definitely better than this one in 16. So, yeah, now that we have this system, we could even do another colony. Can, can we go another colony ship? We could. We do have the resources. We have alloys. We have, um, you know, we have goods. How do how you call this? Consum consumer goods. We do have food. We are producing them. Not as much as I probably wanted, but we are producing it. Uh, but let's first colonize this first planet and then we go to this one. I think that's the best way. Uh, and after that, I want you... The problem is credits, you know, energy credits. Yeah, I'll, I'll think about it on the next episode. And either way, guys, thank you very much for watching. Once again, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and a comment down below. Uh, it's always good to have your opinion for the further for the future episodes. Uh, I'll be recording a few right now, so I may not do any of the things you may leave on the comment. Uh, at least not yet, but in the future we will definitely look into it. But either way, guys, thank you very much for watching once again. Uh, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a comment and feedback, and I will see you guys soon. Cheers.